Hello my dear friends, this is a continuation of my series of videos about the EIE open mold Chinese carbon wheels. Uh, now this time I would like to talk about hubs. So what hub options are there? There's a number of hub options obviously. Um, there's uh, one Novatech one, I think, which is quite a cheap one, and then it's very light, yes, but even the manufacturer does not recommend it, it's not very reliable, so I wouldn't recommend it either. Then the next option up, and it's probably also a default option, is the DT Swiss. In DT Swiss, there are three models most popular ones, current ones nowadays, with the ratcheting system. What ratcheting system is, is two round bits which have teeth in them. They are different by the number of teeth, which I'll talk about later. Uh, but anyway, the hubs with that ratcheting system are DT Swiss 350, being the cheapest option, then 240S, which is um, it used to be one of the high-end options. Now it's probably mid-range because now there is a 180 option available, which is quite recent. Now, which one should you choose? Um, I don't really, to be honest, consider 180. It's supposed to be better in every aspect, but it's very, very extremely expensive so for normal people you know amateur riders unless you have an unlimited budget and money isn't a concern at all i wouldn't consider that option unfortunately just probably a great option especially on paper i haven't really seen it or touched it but um, yeah there's definitely that option which is ruled out for most people i would say if I'm not mistaken, I think it's roughly about $500 maybe for a hub or something like that. Something crazy anyway. So, the real contenders will be 350 which is the most affordable one, and 240 s Now, what is the difference between them? The biggest difference is the weight and the way they describe it is the hub body itself is made out of aluminium. Inside the internal bits are supposed to be the same or interchangeable for 240 and 350. 240 is supposed to have more options so it's more compatible to different kind of wheels and different standards so the caps there are more options there but for all of the standard options 350 is suitable anyway and then we come to the probably the biggest difference is the weight how is that weight difference is achieved it is achieved apparently by machining the hub body more in the case of 240s so what they do is they spend a little bit more time and effort on machining the bits out of the 240S body where it does not compromise the structural integrity of the hub body. And they achieve about 50 gram economy or difference on 240. Is it big or not? Mm. Obviously, it depends on the way you look at it. Essentially, that weight difference is worth about at least maybe 100 US dollars for 50 grams. In my opinion, it's quite expensive. Um, it's definitely an option to consider, but um, the thing is that in a wheel, the most important weight is the rotating weight. So the further you go from the axle itself, the more important the weight is in terms of acceleration of the wheel. Hub being very close to the axle, its weight is almost 
as valuable as the weight on the frame itself. So for me, definitely 350. The default option, the most popular option is the way to go. It's very reliable, um, very, very popular. No issues there. Now, another option that's available is the number of teeth in the ratcheting system. The default one is 18 teeth. You also have 24, 36, 54 teeth in the ratcheting system. And the more teeth you have, the quicker the engagement is. Some people would like to call it um, like the free movement of the pedals or free movement of the hub and the degree you apparently you get 20 degree of free movement before it is with 330 with 18 teeth engages um, how important it is it is supposed to be important for technical mountain bike riding for trails yes not all technical mountain bike riders think that this is important, but some do. Now, for road biking, is this important? For me, really, no. It's not that important at all. What are the differences there? Obviously, 18 teeth is the default option, so you don't need to pay anything extra for it. Now, if you want to upgrade, you may swap your registering system to 54 teeth, for example, or 24 or 36, for which you will need to pay roughly something of like 70, 100 dollars extra. And there are lots of videos on YouTube and lots of articles on the internet which say it's absolutely the best option, you know, the best upgrade that you could do on a DT Swiss hub. Is this really so? In my personal opinion, no, it isn't. How important it is or how quickly your hub engages. Obviously, you probably get a nicer feeling if it engages a little bit faster. But for me, the most important thing is that how reliable the engagement is. And in case of a um, DT Swiss ratcheting system, it's very reliable because those teeth on the ratchet, regardless of it, if it's 18 or 54, they engage simultaneously, which is very good in my opinion, and they engage very reliably, unless there's a technical fault with the hub. Unlike regular traditional hubs, which engage sort of one bit at a time, so there's that. Now, some hubs even have like 102 teeth, for example, but the more you need to remember that the more teeth you have, the smaller they are, obviously, so they become less reliable. It's just easier to grind the teeth down and get a less positive engagement, less reliable engagement. So, in my opinion, the default option, 18 teeth, isn't just a default option because it's easier to machine that 18 teeth. It is the default option because for most riders the speed of engagement is not critical. What is critical for them is the reliability of engagement, the positiveness of engagement, the reliability of the teeth themselves and how long they can last. So all of that is in favor of the 18 teeth ratchet and system. So in my opinion, just go for the default one, try it out when and if the internals of the DT Swiss hub wear out. You might want to buy a replacement internal with 36 teeth, for example, and just try it out. But for me, I'm absolutely happy with 18 teeth, no problems there, no problems at all. So that would be my recommendation for the hub. It is with 340 
cheap, nice, reliable, good mid-range option, default 18-teeth ratcheting system. Thank you.